Hi. <laughs> I always do this when I open the float. It's like, hi, everybody. Hi. <laughs> it's me. It's Signa from Sino Horses. Today, I don't know what I'm going to do. I have no plans. I have a few ideas of what I might like to do um, with him. Uh, I took Bliss's saddle with me, Bliss's gorgeous Viking saddle, and see how he, how Brissinger responds to that. Or I just might spend time with him in the field just cuddling. I don't know yet. We'll see. Consciously uh, try not to change anything in my behavior when I put the halter on him. I'm not too grabby on the lead rope, it's just dangling there. I'm not changing anything, I'm just scratching him still. So whether he's got his bridle on or not, or his um, halter on or not, it doesn't make a difference. For us, things have a lot of meaning. Saddles are for sitting on, halters are for restricting a horse from movement and, and for horses they mean something else. So when you start working with horses it's very important that you try to see it from their perspective and try to see it not as an, as an object of have to but as an object to explore. There is a pad. I'm not changing anything. I'm just still here with him. I'm just holding a pad. It's nothing different. I'm not even thinking about putting it on him. I'm just holding it and I'm not holding it carefully. I'm not being too careful with it or about it. It's just another object and I can see from the corner of my eye that he is slightly apprehensive about it without being worried. He's, he's very okay with touching it with his nose, but the thing touching him is a lot more, um, he's more apprehensive about it. He's not at any level of his ease or uncomfortable at all. I don't try to sneak up on him, I don't try to attack him with it, it's just there. And when he wants to walk off, I let him walk off. The only thing that I am taking care of is that it doesn't blow off his back all of a sudden. Here's the saddle. So it's just me holding the saddle, not doing anything. 
in particular. I'm just going to walk around him. My goal is not at all to uh, put this on his back. My goal is to introduce him to things. He's had a rug on his back, he's had a sheep on his back, a felted sheep. The fact that this is a saddle doesn't change anything for me or for him. It's a, it's a little bit awkward to hold, but otherwise, perfectly fine. I'm going to see if I can touch him with it right here, and if he's okay with that. I clicked this position right here next to him. Right here. That's where I clicked. Because I want him to touch it with his nose, but not move away from it. So when he starts moving away, I just hold my position and I know he wants to look at it, but he's going to look at it like this. Good boy. That's how you can look at it. Same here. I just want to be able to stand here with him looking at it. Hey buddy. Yep. Well done. All of a sudden. <laughs> Do these. Move. So all of a sudden he has a saddle on. Uh, it kind of happened. Don't eat it. I have the stirrups up and I have it very loosely attached to him. And I practiced having a girth on by putting my lead rope over his back, grabbing it, and then pulling it tightly like that for a bunch of times. And he's kind of in a freeze mode, he's kind of wary like, what is happening? What do I have on my back? But he's okay with it. He's not super stressed. The other horses are helping him. He's okay with the girth. You can see by his ears that he's sort of like, what is going on? Good boy. Super. And the only reason why I have the rope on is that should anything happen that will make him startle and start to sprint that I can keep him close so I can very quickly take the saddle off and take the scary thing away from him. I think he looks kind of fancy with his saddle on. <laughs> yeah, you got a saddle on boy. Now you can feel it. <laughs> The other horses really don't know what to make of it. <laughs> they're they're um, really taking in the scent. He can feel it on its back. All the other horses are interested in it as well. And he's sort of wary about it, but he's not afraid. Switched over to handout so you can see what is going on. He's got his saddle on, which was pretty easy. But you can see his ears going sideways now and then kind of unsure, a little bit wary, but still very interested in me. I'm just gonna do this for a short while and give him carrots to reward him. And admire how well he's doing. You're doing brilliantly, little man. Yeah. <laughs> I can't, I can't give you a treat like that. Okay, whoa. 
If his ears are doing anything now, it's because he's demanding a treat for being a good boy. And it's also a little bit stress related. Feed me, feed me, because that's how I can deal with stress. So I'm going to quickly take the saddle off. And, uh, and then go for a walk with him. I had no idea that all of this was going to go so quickly. But he's doing so well. He's right behind me, so I can't film him. There he is. Yeah, so we're back. Fence. And of course, all of the other horses have made a brilliant mess here. Quickly take the saddle off and carefully see how he how he feels about each of these steps. He's worried, but he's okay. And I'm rewarding a touch of the saddle. I love that he's stepping forward into a treat because he knows he's going to get a treat. I'm not sure if I get any of this on camera. You have to trust me. So, <laughs> off for a walk now. Let's see if, uh, if that's more relaxing for him. Very proud of my little man. Very proud. Going for a walk is still an awfully big adventure. So I'm only able to film at moments like this when he's all knackered and tired. We're still very alert. <laughs> and there's his buddies waiting for him. The other stallions. That's our day. I love the weekends when I can be with the horses. Those are the best days ever. Yeah. <laughs> wow, look at that. Oh, so beautiful. He's going to go back in his field now with his buddies. I'm going to keep this vlog short and sweet because sometimes that is what it takes. A, 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 I think it's not even been five minutes. A five minute session of just introducing something, having it on its back, seeing how the horse reacts, make sure that he can relax somewhat and then leaving them to be horses again and that's it so it's the end of the vlog i hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a quick thumbs up make sure to subscribe and tell all your friends to subscribe stallions will be stallions i guess and release your inner stallion or release your inner viking ah! i'll see you next time bye